If you're one of the millions of people who suffer from knee pain, you'll know it can be debilitating. This is the Ascend from Rome Robotics, and it's a wearable robot that can help relieve your pain and maybe help you avoid surgery. Exoskeletons are literally stepping out of superhero movies into the real world. Remember Bruce Wayne's knee brace in The Dark Knight Rises? Well, the Ascend won't help you kick through walls, but this smart orthosis can help people with osteoarthritis and knee injuries regain mobility and relieve pain. This is Tim Swift, CEO of Rome Robotics, who's going to show us how it works. When a customer comes in and decides to uh, get Ascend in consultation with their doctor, then they'll be custom fabricated for them. This is really kind of the core of, of what Ascend uh, is, is uh, this actuation unit. Um, there's a, a novel actuator that lives inside here that uses air and woven fabrics. They're showing about 46% reduction in perceived pain for these customers. Uh, and about two-thirds of them are seeing a functional improvement as a result. Now it's time to try it on. I'll be wearing a demo unit that's fit to me, but the actual Ascend is made to each wearer's specific limb measurements and weighs about two and a half pounds. So now we're ready to introduce the Smart Pack to you. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and help you put it on here. It's worn just like a normal backpack. There is a waist strap if you'd like to attach that around your waist for a little extra security. And then there's the connector. This is what connects the power source in the Smart Pack to the actual device. Um, it is a magnetized connector, so it's very easy to uh, insert. Um, to undo it, it's just a press and pull. This remote lets the wearer control the level of support and activity mode like walking or sitting. You'll get up to two hours of runtime from the Smart Pack depending on what you're doing. So let's put it to the test. Woo! It's really hard to see. Yeah, it's light. That's funny. Did so you get that? <laughs> All right, Lincoln Park steps. Here we go. Oh, it's kicked in. Oh, okay. I can, I can feel it giving me some support on this leg right underneath here behind my thigh and it feels it does feel like someone's just like gently lifting up so uh, I do feel like it's taking the pressure out of my quadricep and out of my knee as well all right I'm gonna walk back go up for and it see what this feels like oh it's like literally giving me a boost I can feel it assisting me well, that was easy. Now let's try something more challenging, sitting. And so we'll go ahead and take this and um, place it into, into the mode for sitting. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Okay, okay. Um, I'll go ahead and hold this. Okay, Cause sure. what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna shut it off on you uh, as you are going down. So you can, so you can feel it all in right. the same way. So you, you like to play pranks on uh, people, This is so exactly what we're doing, Okay, yes. all right, that sounds good. All right, let's see. So, I'm gonna go down. So you're gonna go down, spot. just sit and relax sit. into it. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is a very relaxing position right here. Tim. And, then, <laughs> and oh. then when we kill it, see? At this point, you, you fall into yeah, it. Yeah, like it, so it was holding me right here and then it went off and I was like, oh, yeah. no more support. Okay, well. So then I mean, at this it's point, it's not that comfortable for an extended period of time and it doesn't look very good either. So, oh, and it's back on again. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. So then when the torque wow. comes back in, it is definitely got enough torque to kind of move you around. So it, it actually could give me a boost out of that squat position because I did exactly. feel it. Yeah. But there, it's a little noisy. Tell me about yeah. the actual finished version or the version that customers will get. Will yeah, so this like is this? a this is kind of a first production prototypes and a device like this is going to run kind of like a fairly loud dishwasher is mm -hmm. what you're hearing. Uh, the, the end unit, they're going to run what sounds more like a fridge. Uh, so 55 decibels is kind of the normal operating levels. So I can't really be sneaky with this on, like people are going to definitely hear not, me coming. Not in its current <laughs> configuration, yeah. yes. For most of our customers, they're looking for support on activities of daily living. So we're targeting things like in and out of chairs, up and down steps, level ground walking. Well, lucky for you, Mitch, who has experienced knee pain, who is filming at the moment, he is going to put on the Ascend because it's all well and good that I tell you about this as someone who doesn't experience knee pain, but someone with knee pain is actually going to give you the lowdown. So, Mitch, you're on the spot. I'm going to put it on you right now. Let's go. He's ready. So, 
Mitch, how does this actually feel to you now? Uh, it feels really good. I can feel the assist, definitely. Uh, when I didn't have it on, uh, there was pain in my knee, and now I don't feel it. And in fact, it feels like somebody is pushing or assisting my knee. Interesting. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about why you would potentially want to use something like this. Yeah, so I tore my ACL many years ago. I had it fixed, but like all things, the repairs started to deteriorate in my knee, and so now my knee is a little loose. So I can walk fine, and it's just a matter of time when going upstairs or doing something, getting out of the car, whatever, and it starts to swell up and it starts to hurt. When we walked up with it, I didn't feel that pain anymore. I didn't feel any discomfort. So you're probably wondering where you can get your hands on an Ascend if you do have knee pain and how much it costs. Well, if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, you can contact Rome Robotics and they'll do a fitting and you can do a trial run. If you're outside of the Bay Area, then do get in touch because they will be rolling it out far and wide very soon. And it might actually be eligible under your insurance plan or under Medicare, but the full retail price is $7,000. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. As always, let us know your comments down below hit like and subscribe to stay tuned to more fun stuff on CNET like walking robots, exoskeletons and wearable robotics. All right, I'm just going to test this out now and uh, do some more squats or walk down the steps first. Ah! <laughs> Sounds, uh, uh, no, it's yeah. just, that's funny. I wasn't expecting it to make.